You're about to learn how to make a personal avatar that looks and sounds exactly like you. And believe it or not, what you just watched is my personal avatar presenting this video for me. So I'm going to show you how you can just type in some text, hit generate and create talking head videos in just a few minutes. To create my personal avatar, I used a tool called Synthesia, which I've linked in the description. And there's a very good reason why. Unlike most avatar generators, Synthesia actually mimics my natural body language and hand gestures to create a final product that is much more lifelike. So once you're in the dashboard, open up the avatars menu on the bottom left hand side. And once you've recorded some AI avatars, you'll find them in the menu right here. So as you can see, I've already created quite a few of them myself. But today I'm going to show you how to create your own avatar from scratch. And to do that, I'm going to go up to the personal avatars option at the top and hit create. Now this video on screen is going to guide you through some of the best practices for recording your avatar, but I'm going to get to that later. And if we skip to the next page, you have two different options for recording. You can read a short script directly into your webcam, or you can upload one to five minutes of pre-recorded footage. For this second option, you can just record yourself on your smartphone or your camera talking about any topic that you like. Just make sure it's one continuous take with no edits. And the more expressions and emotions you can show during the recording, the better the final product will be. Just make sure you don't block your face at any time with your hands or any other objects. But for this example, I'm going to go back one step and use my webcam. So on the next page, you'll see a preview of what your recording is going to look like. To get the best possible quality of avatar, I do recommend using a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. And the same goes with the audio. If you have access to any professional microphones like this one, then you are going to get much better results. And you can change the input for the video and audio underneath the video preview right here. Whatever you choose to record with, make sure you're in a quiet, well-lit environment with your face clearly visible on the screen. For my avatar, I want it to be in my normal studio environment. So the idea is that people won't be able to tell the difference between the real me and my avatar presenting my videos. You can also change the language that you speak in. Synthesia supports a lot of different languages, not just English. But the cool thing about the final product is that even if I record my avatar in English, I can still translate my speech with lip sync to over 30 different languages. So I'm going to show you how to do that later on. If we hit next, we can now take a look at the script that you need to record to create your avatar. Now, don't worry, you don't need to memorize anything. What's going to happen is when you press record, the script will scroll upwards like a TV teleprompter and you can just read it off the screen. Once again, you can also change the language of the script at the top here and you can also control the scroll speed. So you want it to be at a comfortable speed so you can read it naturally. And before you press record, I do recommend taking a few minutes just to get familiar with the script so it's not brand new when you create your avatar. And you'll also notice that there are some scripted pauses at different sections. So make sure you pay attention to those as well. Then once you're ready, hit start recording, you'll get a three second countdown and it takes around two minutes to read through the whole thing. Feel free to use natural body language and hand gestures when you're speaking. Just make sure that you don't leave the frame at any time or cover your face with your hands. And if you want your avatar to be happy, you do need to smile. This recording is going to be the only reference that the AI has to create your avatar. So you need to give it all of the materials possible to create the best results. I also recommend keeping your eye line as close to the camera lens as possible. That's because you want to make your avatar look like you're speaking directly to the audience rather than slightly underneath. If you make a mistake or stumble over your words, you can hit record again in the top left. And when you're finished, you can just hit submit recording. On this next page, I recommend reviewing your performance to make sure that the eye contact is good and the audio is clear. And if you're happy, tick the box. I can also choose if I want the background removed from my avatar. So the final product could look something like this, which works particularly well if you want to put your avatar over different environments or maybe over the top of a presentation. But like I said before, I want mine to look like it's in my normal recording studio. So I'll just hit next. And before you submit your recording, you do need to record a short consent video. So Synthesia has permission to make your clone. Just like before, there's a three second countdown and the script scrolls up on screen. After you've recorded that, you then have to tick one more box for biometric consent, hit submit your recording and your footage will be uploaded for generation, which takes around 24 hours. Now for full transparency, I recorded my personal avatar with my mirrorless Sony camera and my professional microphone right here. And what I did is actually take that script that we saw in the webcam flow and pasted it into my professional teleprompter. So it really does look like I'm looking directly into the lens when I'm reading the script. And if you do have access to this sort of gear, it does give you the best results. I can really recommend it. I already went through this whole process yesterday and it only took about 12 hours for the avatar to appear in my dashboard. So now we can make a video. 
Back in the avatar menu, I'll select the avatar that I want to use and hit new video, which opens up the Synthesia editor. And now it's really simple. I just need to paste the script into this box at the bottom hit generate in the top right, and in just a few minutes, I have a talking avatar video that looks like this. You're about to learn how to make a personal avatar that looks and sounds exactly like you. Now, this already looks really good, but not only can I make it sound even better, I can also make my clone speak over 30 different languages. Back in the editor, I can just highlight my script, select edit with AI, and just type in any language I want to translate it to. So today I'm gonna put translate to German, which it does almost instantly. So I can then hit replace and my avatar now speaks like this. Du wirst lernen, wie man einen persönlichen Avatar erstellt, der genau wie du aussieht und klingt. Now, I already think these results are very, very good, but with just a small adjustment to the voice, I can make it even more believable. The cool thing about Synthesia is that I can also upload an audio recording of myself that the avatar can then lip sync to. At the bottom of the screen, I could just delete my script upload an audio file from my computer and the AI will match it with my avatar like this. You're about to learn how to make a personal avatar that looks and sounds exactly like you. So we now have a very realistic but pretty basic talking head video. But Synthesia makes it very easy to create even more engaging and informative videos with the video templates. All I need to do is hit add scene in the top left choose a template from all of the options in the library and select a design that I want to use in my video. Now, Synthesia has automatically updated the color scheme and the fonts to my company's brand guidelines, which is super useful. And I can now just customize any of the text on screen and it will have slick looking animations without doing any manual editing myself. And you can just keep adding scenes to your avatar video by selecting any layout from the template menu and adding your speech into the text box below. But if you want to learn about five more ways to make avatar videos with Synthesia from the hundreds of stock presenters or how to make avatars from a picture of yourself, you should watch the video on screen right now.